Chroma, Savasak, Esgi, and everyone that make this happen. This is an amazing thing, 24 hours of music, and I believe that you're really tired right now. It no, has been a really actually, long day. <laughs> we, we have uh, caffeine overload, so we're actually oh. quite hyped right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good moment. Yeah. Up slowly, he got juju eyeball, he won Okay, so now we're going to be all together hearing the same thing. So let's go ahead and line those up first. Also, I'm not watching the, I can't see the YouTube comments, but if anybody has any questions as we go, feel free to shout them out. Um, I'd love to hear them. Okie doke. It's about vocal painting. That is a, a non-verbal communication tool between every musician, where you can invite for a, something to happen that we didn't know was an option. So if you go to ramavocalcenter.dk, I'll share the website also a bit later, then you can see the documentary. Turun ke hati dari mana datangnya cinta dari mata turun ke hati jiwa manis Laju sekali, laju sekali ke Surabaya. Special. It, I think it's because Vocal Asia Festival is a traveling festival. I think um, if you stayed earlier for Mr. Han's uh, session, I believe he already talked a little bit about Vocal Asia Festival. So in order to serve the acapella fans in Asia, 
we decided, although we are an organization that based in Taiwan, but we decided to travel around Asia. So each year, our festival is hosted in a different city. So we've been to um, Taipei, Guangzhou in Korea, uh, Kagawa in Japan, Hong Kong, and uh, Taidong in Taiwan. So as you can see, each country is so different in terms of uh, musical culture. So each year we would try to incorporate local cultures into this acapella festivals. For example, uh, the year we went to Taidong in Taiwan. <laughs> The feeling of surprising, like a vocal mask, like you put a vocal mask. The feeling of the gape, uh, so maybe from classical uh, method. I got um, transferred from the symphonic department to the pop and jazz choir department. And so that's how I kind of ended up in the field with work. And then I thought, okay, I want to educate myself further in that field too. And that's how I met Bashak, um, which was at the vocal leadership program at Rama, which is the Royal Academy, Royal Academy of Music in Albert. Uh, that was the little store band, how we call them. So you have the big band and you have the little big band. 
Um, I want to tell you a bit. How how much more time do I have, um, Yaprak? Let me just check. Okay, three minutes. Oh, three minutes. Jamming is in choir rehearsal. You can do this with your <laughs> choir. I'm going really fast now. You have to try it out first. <laughs> This song actually has a third harmony on it and I just wanted to demonstrate that this way instead of recording it because I do this a lot when I'm arranging vocals, arranging directly into Melodyne and then using the visual layout of Melodyne as sort of an arranging tool to make harmony decisions. So if I take that same line that I just had so you can see that is the same as this was. Now we just have a copy of it. I'm just gonna go ahead and move those harmonies around to what I want for this. So we want a nine in it, I believe. My hands, my hands are shaking, it's a cool summer. Boop. My hands are shaking, it's a cool summer. That's a bad of one. And then maybe we'll do, that's a bad of one. That's a bad of one. What I that's a bad of one. What I want. What I what I want. very much then we have a girls group which is um 18 to 30 35 mostly um only girls and then we have the boys legends they are like a group of people that is like 40 years and older and we're planning a youth choir so we have kind of almost like a group that fits for everybody Melodyne is a really smart program. There are several things that it's doing all in um, all compressed into smaller movements, um, but several actions that are being taken with every movement that you make in Melodyne. So just to go through that a little bit, 
This first vocal that I opened up here, we can hear it a little bit. My hands are shaking, it's psychosomatic. That's a better one, what a one, what a one, what a one. Right? So on the left here, you can see we have our. I think that's a that's a core of uh, of Cochesa. They we feel we are music. It's not top down. It's uh, 
It's a shared experience. expert and now Merci Rayala from uh, Finland and the Sibelius Academy. So the wonderful thing here is that that is it is instant music and with vocal painting I can hand out the um, responsibility and the shared uh, artistic uh, dimension. So for example if you saw this sign it comes from all the five musical areas connected so that freestyle on rhythm and intonation. So it's very powerful. In vocal painting... I always think of a flower. I, I talk about this with Dylan all the time. I'm an avid gardener as well. And, you know, you plant one seed, up comes the flower. It comes to harvesting time. That one flower produces 30 more seeds for the next thing. And then you've got a whole garden bed and then you've got acres and acres of land full of flowers. And in the same way, this music feeds and it generates and regenerates more and more every time. <laughs> Моря неугомонный прибой Ласково шепчет о любви, любви хорошей, верной Yeah. 